What do you think the Earth will look like in 50 years from now? It's a question that may seem distant, even far-fetched, but the reality is, our planet is changing, and it's changing fast. Climate change, a term we're all too familiar with, is not just a buzzword. It's a global phenomenon that's reshaping the world as we know it. Let's take a moment to imagine the beautiful Maldives, the vibrant city of Miami, or the vast expanses of the Amazon rainforest. These are just a few of the places that are already feeling the pinch of our warming planet. Rising sea levels, increased temperatures, and extreme weather events are slowly turning our world into something unrecognizable. The future of these places and many others hangs in the balance. It's a sobering reality we can no longer afford to ignore. Climate change is not waiting for us to catch up. It's no longer a matter of if, but when. Have you ever heard of the Maldives or Kiribati? These are not just tropical paradises for vacationers, they are homes to thousands of people, but they are also among the places on Earth that are disappearing before our very eyes due to rising sea levels. The Maldives, a chain of 26 atolls in the Indian Ocean, is the world's lowest-lying nation. With an average ground level of just about four and a half feet above sea level, the Maldives is literally at the front line of climate change. Already, saltwater intrusion is making freshwater scarce, and erosion is eating away at the beaches. Some islands have lost so much land, they've had to relocate their residents to other islands. If current trends continue, the Maldives could become uninhabitable within this century. On the other side of the world in the Pacific Ocean, lies Kiribati. This island nation is spread over three and a half million square kilometers of ocean, but its total land area is only about 800 square kilometers. Like the Maldives, Kiribati is feeling the effects of rising sea levels. Saltwater contamination is threatening crops and freshwater supplies, while coastal erosion is claiming homes and infrastructure. Kiribati's government has predicted that the entire country could be underwater in less than a century. The residents of these islands are living in a reality that is hard for many of us to comprehend. They are facing the loss of their homes, their livelihoods, and their national identities. These are not just places on a map that are going underwater, these are communities, histories, cultures, that could be lost forever. But it's not just about the Maldives or Kiribati. This is a global issue. Rising sea levels are threatening coastal communities all over the world, from Miami to Mumbai, from Venice to Vietnam. And while the effects may not be as extreme or as immediate in these places, the threat is real and it is growing. For these island nations, the future is now, and for the rest of us, the future is coming faster than we think. Let's not wait until it's too late. It's not just isolated islands, even bustling cities are at risk. Yes, you heard it right. Some of the world's most vibrant cities are grappling with the harsh reality of rising sea levels. Two such cities that come to mind are the romantic city of Venice, Italy, and the bustling metropolis of Miami, USA. Venice, with its romantic canals and historic architecture, is no stranger to flooding. But the frequency of the Adriatic Sea's high tides lapping at the city's doorsteps is increasing. The city has been battling against the encroaching sea for centuries, but the situation is becoming more critical each year. They've even devised an ambitious plan known as MOES, a system of floodgates aimed at protecting the city from high tides. But the question remains, will it be enough? On the other side of the Atlantic, Miami, known for its sandy beaches and vibrant nightlife is also under threat. The city sits on a bed of porous limestone which allows water to seep up from below, making traditional seawalls ineffective. On sunny days you can see water bubbling up through manhole covers during high tide, a phenomenon known as sunny day flooding. Miami is exploring solutions such as elevating roads and installing pumps to push the seawater back, yet the city's future remains uncertain. Both Venice and Miami represent a larger global issue. They serve as a stark reminder that sea level rise isn't an isolated problem. It's a worldwide concern that requires immediate attention and action. These cities are fighting a relentless battle against time and tide, investing billions in infrastructure and technology to keep the water at bay, but the challenges are immense. They must navigate the complexities of climate change, urban planning and engineering innovation, all while ensuring the safety and livelihood of their residents. It's a daunting task but one that's essential for their survival. We must remember these cities are not just geographical locations, they are places of culture, history, and human connection. They are homes to millions of people. Their loss would not only be a geographical one but a cultural one too. The clock is ticking for these cities.
And as we continue to witness their struggle we must ask ourselves, what more can we do to help? Because their fight is our fight too. Glaciers, the majestic icy giants are also feeling the heat. These colossal ice formations have graced our planet for countless millennia, acting as frozen time capsules, preserving a record of climatic history. But these icy sentinels are not as permanent as they seem, and they're melting at an alarming rate. Let's take a closer look at the Glacier National Park in the United States. Once home to more than 100 glaciers, the park now houses fewer than 30. These shrinking giants are not only altering the landscape, they're impacting the wildlife that calls this icy wonderland home. From the grizzly bears that roam the park to the trout that swim in its rivers, the loss of glaciers disrupts the delicate balance of this ecosystem. And it's not just the wildlife that's feeling the impact. The rapid melting of these glaciers is having a profound effect on our water supply. Glaciers act as natural reservoirs, storing water in the colder months and releasing it in the warmer months. As the glaciers shrink, this seasonal water source is depleting, which could lead to water scarcity in many areas. Tourism too is feeling the heat. Glacier National Park with its awe-inspiring icy landscapes draws millions of visitors each year. But as the glaciers recede the park's appeal as a tourist destination is in danger of melting away along with them. The plight of the glaciers is a stark reminder of our changing climate. These icy behemoths are not just scenic wonders, they're critical components of our global ecosystem, affecting everything from wildlife to water cycles to weather patterns. And their rapid decline is a clear sign that our planet is warming. The story of the shrinking glaciers is more than a tale of melting ice. It's a call to action, a plea from our planet. We need to listen, we need to learn, and most importantly, we need to act. Because as the glaciers recede, so does our time to act. Rising sea levels are not just a threat, but a reality for many. Indeed, as the tides surge, their impact reverberates across the globe. The encroaching waters are more than just an encumbrance. They are a harbinger of a world in flux, a symbol of the profound changes we are witnessing in our lifetime. Imagine a world where millions are displaced from their homes, not by war or conflict, but by the very oceans that have nurtured life on this planet for eons. Picture vast swaths of fertile agricultural land once teeming with life, now submerged under salty waves the seeds of life, washed away. Envisage the countless lives and livelihoods disrupted, the cultural heritage lost, the societies reshaped by the inexorable march of the rising tides. But the rising sea levels also herald a more unpredictable climate. They contribute to an increase in extreme weather events, from ferocious storms battering our coastlines to prolonged droughts parching our lands. Weather patterns become more erratic, more volatile, turning the benign and familiar into the alien and threatening. This is not a distant dystopian future, this is the world we are shaping with our actions today. A world where the tides are rising, not just in our oceans but in our towns and cities in our fields and forests. The tides are rising and so should our efforts to combat climate change. For it is only through concerted, global action that we can hope to stem the tide and secure a future for the generations to come. The future may look bleak but it's not too late to change course. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the scale of these global issues but remember, change often starts with just one person. Each of us, in our own way, can contribute to the solution. You might be wondering what can I do, how can I make a difference? The answer is simpler than you might think. Start by reducing waste. Think twice before you throw something away. Can it be recycled? Can it be reused? Small changes like these can have a big impact. Water conservation is another area where we can make a difference. Turn off the faucet while you're brushing your teeth. Take shorter showers, fix that leaky faucet. These are all easy ways to conserve our precious water resources. And let's not forget about renewable energy. Support companies that use wind, solar, and other renewable sources. Consider installing solar panels on your home or driving an electric vehicle. These actions don't just help the environment, they can also save you money in the long run. The problems we face are daunting, but they're not insurmountable. It starts with awareness, followed by action. We all have a role to play in protecting our planet for future generations. Remember, every action counts. Together we can make a difference for our planet.